Hello, everyone. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about、uh, create a new footprint by using footprint wizard. Okay. Um, in previous video, we create our own footprint library. So, um, we will save the new footprint into the library. Okay. Uh, let's open the software. So this is the software, and、uh, let's open the schematic. And this component is created by ourselves in previous video. It's a special STM、uh, A. Okay, so you cannot find in any、um, places. So we need to create the. Special footprint for these components, in order to do the PCB layout. Okay, and so we need to open this footprint edit. This is a PCB footprint edit. The first thing you will need to select an active library. We will. Select the library which we create in last video.、Uh, it's my library, okay. My library. This is this is my library. And then we will find the wizard. So it's here. Click it. Okay. So you will. Um, let's select the select the script. So this is a lot of、uh, script for different、uh, package for our different components. This is FPGA. Let's take a look at what inside the FPGA. If we click it, so you click, you select it, choose OK. So this is uh, uh, FPGA. Okay.、Uh, there is a message here, and、uh, so this is a FPGA package, a footprint. The parameter is like this, and、uh, this is a pair. Pitch. The pitch means the center, the distance between the two pair center from here to here. Okay. This is one millimeter. The pair size, ah,、uh, zero point five. And there is other. This is five, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five. So you can you can change it and try ah,、uh, what will change? What will looks like? Let's say ah,、uh, we change this, like ten by a. You will see it will automatically change it, okay, and、uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, fresh, and so you can change the、uh, parameter according your setting. This is the BGA. This is uh, uh, let's take a look. At, let's let's go through all of it to take a look at. Ah,、uh, this is a、uh, um, circle pair array. It's like some kind of、uh, audio cable connector. Okay, and、uh, let's try some others. This is FPC. FPC and、uh, uh, the FPC the FPC is、uh, typically used、uh, in the board connection. For example, the camera sensor. Connector is、uh, you need use the FPC, okay, and also you can change the、uh, how how many pins here is like twenty pins, ah、uh, it will change, and、uh, okay according your ah、uh, requirement, and let's take a look at some others QFP, okay. So QFP is looks like this is ah、uh, ah.、Uh, A package is、uh, easily soldered by hand. Okay, this is one hundred. You can like change it like forty,、uh, something like this, and、uh, take a look at some others. And this is DIP. 
this package is um, kind of old package in the old days is uh, this is a through hole package okay uh, the package is relatively big and uh, you can it's very friendly for the soldering okay but it's not good for the current uh, uh, like a portable devices uh, the current devices design uh, as small as possible so uh, probably you um, in some actually project you sell them to see this kind of uh, footprint okay and this is uh, SOIC okay so this is SOIC uh, um, uh, footprint it's very popular uh, very common let's take a look at some others this is touch slide okay this touch slide you can see the, um, in the STM32 and uh, STM38 STM32 and STM STMA, the touch project use this uh, footprint to do the touch button. Okay, the touch button uh, package, touch button footprint, and uh, this is a buckle. You can take a look, and uh, it's zip. The zip one is like the um, the footprint is like uh, uh, not a line between each other. It's like a, uh, here, here, here. Okay, it's like a zip. And the last one will be uh, this one. Okay, okay. So will be like this. We will choose the um, we will choose the QFP. And uh, let's take a look at uh, our devices, our uh, customize, um, our customize uh, STMA, T STMA. It has a uh, sixteen footprint. Okay, sixteen. Let's um, create it. So let's create it. It's sixteen. We use um, QFP. Okay, we use QFP. This one is sixteen. Okay, and uh, the pinch we can left it like this. With this one left it, and uh, with this like uh, we can use it like five, five. Okay, and uh, and the next we change the package size. Okay, this is the package size. Let's change it like uh, um, four by four. Perfect. So this is a uh, four by four um, Q. QFP package, okay, and we will um, and let's take a look at the 3D more. Here is 3D view. And it will looks like this. So we can zoom in and we can 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And then and then, then, and uh, take a look at what it looks like, and like this. So when you see when you see the um, something you which is not uh, not you looks like, and then you can change the parameter here, and to. Uh, uh, change a little bit and let's say um, change this like six or six and this one is 0 0.5 and also 0 0.1 um, you, you need to notice one thing this all the parameters need to change according the data sheet of the um, of the of the chip, okay. 
you need to call in the data sheet to change it. And then um, we view it again. We take a look at it again. It's here. So it will looks like here. It looks like this one and compare the compare the compare the changes. Okay. So um so we need to change we change this a little bit uh, small. Okay. Then we fresh it. Not change and we take a look at it. So it will be like this. And okay, so uh, once you done the parameter setting, pass and package, and then you can uh, export the footprint to the edit. So this is the uh, uh, the QFP footprint for our customized. Uh, um, STM8 uh, components, okay, so it's 8p, okay, so um, the last step, you will need to save it, okay, save the, save the uh, footprint into your old library, which is, uh, here is the my library, okay, so you can click here, save footprint in active library and this is uh, uh, name qfp16 okay uh, you can change it a little bit to specialize it for example it's uh, like my uh, my m a you can specialize it okay so uh, next step, we can use the browser to uh, view it. So click here, open footprint viewer, and click here. Find my library. You will see this is a previous footprint. We save it from the uh, default library and this one is uh, our create out so this is uh, new uh, footprint which is uh, for our customized stma okay so now you already create you already create a new footprint for our uh, uh, pcb ball uh, in the future in the future video we will use the footprint and this schematic to create a PCB ball uh, to to do the PCB layout. Okay, so this is for, uh, that's for this video and uh, I'm Michael. I hope you like it and uh, thank you for your watching.